Well, yes, the Suns and Mavericks are taking center stage, but there's another big event in the Valley tonight that's going to have a very positive impact on a lot of kids. The annual Larry Fitzgerald Supper Club is happening right now. Team 12's Lena Washington is live with the man himself. Hey, Lena. Hey, Mark. Hey, Caribe. Yes, Larry Legend is in the building with his chef's jacket fitting quite nicely. And you said it yourself. You're the only guy who probably scheduled this event on the day of a Suns playoff game. I mean, how are you feeling? I'm nervous. You know, as the series is tied up 2-2 and, you know, my boys are fighting, uh, you know, to get to get this, this third win and hopefully be able to get it, uh, get it done in game six. But you now I wish I would have known six months in advance when we were planning it, uh, you know, that it would fall on game five. But, you know, it was great to be back here, um, you know, the Masters family, Dominic's, Jim Mosier um, and her crew to be able to put this event together for me always is very meaningful to me. And um, to still have the support, it's, uh, it's, it's great. And this is obviously one of the big events of the night as well. Who are we expecting out here tonight, and who can we see walking the red carpet? Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll see a few people. I don't, I don't, I don't know uh, how many people are going to show up tonight. You know, with the scheduling conflict, unfortunately. But uh, hopefully, hopefully, people will come by a little bit and uh, and show a little love. And you know, we got some TVs on inside, so they can they can catch the, the important action. And the twelfth year of this event, after a two-year hiatus, returning. What are you most looking forward to on this evening? Well, you know, this is our twelfth year, and you know, obviously, two years ago, nobody in the world knew what was going to happen, and if, if these events would even be possible. Now, to see how vibrant the city is and how vibrant our nation is, so many people have recovered, the jobs are coming back, and so much opportunity. Um, you know, there's a lot to be thankful for. So, I, I thank the good Lord that uh, He's given us the ability to come back and do this and raise some money for some worthy causes here in this community. Um, the community has been so very good to all of us. You know, um, you know, none of us mostly are from here in the state of Arizona, but we, this is our adopted home, and we just want to want to make sure we're doing our part to support the people in need. And for those of, uh, those of us at home who don't know what the Larry Fitzgerald Foundation is and what its mission is, can you explain for our audience what it is? Yes, it is to eradicate breast cancer and to also give uh, young people uh, a competitive advantage in, in academics through technology grants. And so we've done a really good job over the last 18 years, and we continue uh, to, to push the envelope. Uh, I have a new executive director in Danielle Frost, and she's brought a lot of new, fresh, and creative ideas, and I, and I hope I'll be able to implement them and, and take what we've done already and uh, and make it better. And you're still very much active in the community with this event, with the Waste Management Phoenix Open, but I got to know, how did you enjoy your first year away from football? Oh, it was it was fun. It was great to be able to come sit back and watch your friends around the game, um, you know, just to be able to just to root for them and see guys like Christian and Kelvin Beecham and guys like that, you know, just play at a really high level. And, uh, you know, so it's, it was it was interesting to kind of to, to look at it from the outside in, but it was great. Uh, the Cardinals had a wonderful year, got to the playoffs and have a lot of great pieces to continue to build around. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to another really exciting season. And we're looking forward to a very exciting evening here tonight. A lot of fundraising. You've got auctions going on, and dinner starts at 7 o'clock. And we've got Steve Geim here yeah. walking the carpet here soon. Yeah, I love having Steve here. I mean, he, he, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. So having his, uh, his support means a great deal to me. And, uh, you know, I was happy to see him get that new big contract. And hopefully, um, you know, I'm a, I remember an event. That was Patrick Peterson's event, probably like, Ten years ago, we were sitting next to each other, and it was an auction item, and it was like a matching. And I raised my hands like twenty-five thousand, and Steve Kahn wants to do it too. This is this is before he had the last contract, okay. and so he he got all white and started sweating. I said, Steve, don't worry, I'll cover it for you. But you know, Steve's been coming to you know his players' events for many years. Um, he's not a guy just as you see at the facility. He's constantly out in the community, and um, you know, to have his support means a lot to me. Well, thank you so much for your time, Larry. Enjoy you. your Great evening, you. Larry Fitzgerald, and the Larry Fitzgerald Foundation here at Dominic Steakhouse raising money for those in need. Guys, back to you. All right, tell that man to buy you a steak, Lena. Thanks. Yeah.